What we're going to do now is a little video on uh, forehands. I want to show you a drill you can do. Again, this isn't about me sitting here with my buddy, us just whipping balls over um, a million times in a row, okay? That's all fine and good, but how can you do it, right? I'm going to show you a drill and some work you can do that's going to allow you to be able to hit the ball the way you want to, a heavy topspin forehand. Um, by the end of this video, what you should be able to do is drop the ball and just start whipping it, okay? Like that. All right. You should be able to get the snap. Okay, you see that snap that racket has? Okay, you see those? Those are not bad forehands. Now you say, well, Coach Carroll, you're tossing those balls up. No one's hitting them to you. It's easy to do it that way. And it is if you know how to do it. If you're in position for the ball, all that should matter is your stroke. If you're in position, that's all that matters. So you get the ball and you crack it. Okay? Hit the ball, and you crack it. Now you're saying, Coach Carroll, well, for crying out loud, is it going to do me any good? Yes, it's going to do you some good. I'm going to show you how you can get to doing that, A, and B, why you need to, and how the whole thing works. We keep the elbow tucked in tight, and we're going to hit topspin shots without our elbow moving. So if you watch here, drop the ball, and we're going to have to use the weight of the racket to hit topspin. This is a little weird. It's going to feel strange because... You're going to have to actually move your feet. So I'm constantly moving my body into position to hit the ball in my wheelhouse. This is what keeping this elbow tucked does. If you can't make yourself keep it tucked, you can just um, toss the ball and hold it with your, with your left arm. So if you're right-handed, so like this. Make yourself move and then swing and use the weight of the racket. Once you keep the elbow tucked, it's going to teach you to snap. After you do this, 20, 30, 40, to where you don't move this elbow, it's going to teach you to use the weight of the racket and snap the wrist to impart spin on the ball. We want to keep a very loose grip until contact, and after a while, you'll be able to do that, and you'll start, on, you'll start to find the ways to hit it harder, because you can only swing your racket so hard, right, from this position with your elbow tucked. You can only swing it so hard before you start to miss. So you're going to start wanting to coil and store energy. And after 20, 30, 50 of these, you're going to go, how can I put more spin and hit this harder? Without, without moving my elbow from my body. You know you're going to have to get into position. Well, maybe we can use our legs. So we're going to open up a little bit. Start using our legs and our hips. Then we're going to come here and we're going to let the elbow come away. And we're going to get a shot we can rely on. Okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to... If you don't have tape or anything else, just toss the ball up and force that right arm with your left hand to stay in your side. And I want you to hit 10 in a row over. After you do that for a little bit, you want to start ramping it up. You want to start using the hips to uncork into the shot. So you're not just using the weight of the racket anymore. Now you're using your legs and hips. And you're here, and now you're starting to snap it a little more. And you still got that elbow, that arm, holding that elbow in there. Now, look how hard I'm hitting those, and my elbow isn't even leaving my body. What happens when I'm, I finally let myself do that? I, I don't even hold my hand over here. I just come here and just start cracking the ball, okay? I get more and more topspin as I snap up. That's how that works. And remember, this is what's really cool about this drill and how you're going to know it works is because you're going to fail miserably at it when you first do it. But you should be really happy about it when you do this and screw it up really bad at first because two things will become obvious. A, um, you're, gonna, you're bad at it and you know you can get better. So that means it's a skill that you didn't have before that now you're going to possess. And B, since you know you're getting better at it, it's not just the pros who can do it, you can do it too. Get that elbow tight or use your hand to hold it and do this drill. Um, you're going to learn to feel the snap of the racket through the tennis ball. And, uh, it's going to help you hit a uh, heavier ball, okay? So that's it on this one, and we'll talk soon.